welcome to story time with Holly. We're going to start today's story time with a counting chant because today's story time is all about practicing our counting. It goes like this and you can help show the numbers. Everybody count one. One. Story time has just begun. Everybody count two. Two. Shake your shoulders, show your shoes. Everybody count three. Three. Listen very carefully. Everybody count four. Four. Sit your bottoms on the floor. Everybody count one. One. Story time has just begun. Everybody count two. Two. Shake your shoulders, show your shoes. Everybody count three, three. Listen very carefully. Everybody count four, four. Put your bottoms on the floor and welcome. Let's practice counting by singing a song called Doggy's Gotta Flee. It goes like this and you can follow along. One, two, three, doggy's gotta flee. Doggy's gotta flee and now it's on me. One, two, three, doggy's gotta flee. Doggy's gotta flee and now it's on me. It's on my nose. It's on my toes. It's on my ear. It's over here. It's on my tongue. It's on my thumb. One, two, three, doggy's gotta flee. Doggy's gotta flee and now it's on me. One, two, three, doggy's gotta flee. Doggy's gotta flee and now it's on me. We're gonna practice our counting with a song called 10 Little Fingers. You gotta put your hands up and close to start. I have one, I have two, I have three little fingers. I have four, I have five, I have six little fingers. I have seven, I have eight, I have nine little fingers. 10 little fingers on my hands. They can dance, they can dance, they can dance in the morning. They can dance, they can dance, they can dance in the evening. They can dance, they can dance, they can dance in the moonlight. Ten little fingers on my hands. They can clap, they can clap, they can clap in the morning. They can clap, they can clap. They can clap in the evening. They can clap, they can clap, they can clap in the moonlight. Ten little fingers on my hands. They can tickle, they can tickle, they can tickle in the morning. They can tickle, they can tickle, they can tickle in the evening. They can tickle, they can tickle, they can tickle in the moonlight. Ten little fingers on my hands. They can wave, they can wave, they can wave in the morning. They can wave, they can wave, they can wave in the evening. They can wave, they can wave, they can wave in the moonlight. Ten little fingers on my hands. They can jump, they can jump, they can jump. In the morning, they can jump, they can jump, they can jump. In the evening, they can jump, they can jump, they can jump. In the moonlight, 10 little fingers on my hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you have the great need to sit down and read, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. Our story today is One is a Drummer, a Book of Numbers, written by Roseanne Tong and illustrated by Grace Lynn.
One is a drummer. One is a race. One is a dragon boat that wins first place. Have you ever gone to see a dragon boat race before? It's where they move these boats with paddles really fast and they're long boats that look like dragons. They move to the beat and the rhythm of a drum. One is a tail and a cool wet nose. One is a tongue that tickles my toes. Who's tickling that girl's toes? It's a little Dalmatian puppy. Two are the greetings on our wall. Luck and fortune for us all. Three are the steamers. Three are the buns. Three are the egg tarts. Here they come. Have you ever gone for dim sum before? Four are the friends who play mahjong. Four are the songbirds that chirp along. Mahjong is a game that you play with 144 tiles and that's what they're playing here. And there's four little robins tweet tweeting in the tree. What else do you see four of? Shout it out. There's four people playing the game and there's also four children up in the tree. Four are the seasons. I know them all. Spring, summer, winter, and fall. And the four seasons are shown on the panels here. Five are the fish balls on a stick. Five are the fingers that I lick. There's so many different kinds of snacks on this page. What's your favorite snack? On this page, there's watermelon, an ice cream, cherries, a hot dog, and the five fish balls. Six are the horses on a merry-go-round. Six are the children going up and down. Seven is the number of days in a week. What day is today? Let's take a peek. Do you know what day of the week it is today? Shout it out if you know. Good job. Eight are the napkins. Eight are the dishes. Eight are the candles for making wishes. If she has eight candles, that must mean she's turning eight at her birthday party. Eight are the Chinese immortals of old. Eight are the precious gifts that they hold. These legendary beings are based on people that lived a long time ago and they carry eight Taoist precious symbols, including flowers, a sword, and a flute. Nine colored swimsuits, nine pairs of feet, nine are the children escaping the heat. Have you been swimming this summer or running around in your sprinkler? It's been getting kind of hot. Ten are the stalks of green bamboo. Ten cool stepping stones to walk on through. I think there may be ten children on ten stepping stones. Will you help me count? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten children on ten stepping stones. There are so many numbers at home and at play. How many have you counted today? The end. The little girl in this book did such a great job counting things in her community. And your family challenge is to go for a walk in your backyard or your neighborhood and count things that you see on the street. Maybe how many fence posts you pass or how many flowers are in a part of your garden. How many butterflies or bees can you see? And you can share this with me by sending me an email with what you found and the emails in the description below. I'm gonna tell you an oral story about two best friends named Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. And for this story, I'm just gonna use my hands and you can watch the video over again to learn the hand movements and practice the story yourself. It goes like this. One day, there were two best friends, Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. And they were such good best friends that they liked to do everything exactly the same. They liked to wear clothing that was exactly the same and their houses looked exactly the same. They also went into their house the exact same way. They would open the door, go inside, and close the door behind them. Well, one day, Mr. Wiggle wanted to visit Mr. Waggle. So he opened the door, he went outside, and he closed the door behind him. And he made the long journey by going up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill, and down the hill until he made it to Mr. Waggle's house where he knocked on the door, but no one answered. So he called out, Oh, Mr. Waggle, are you home? But nobody answered. <sighs> so he made the journey back. He went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until he made it back to his house where he opened the door, he went inside, and he closed the door behind him. Well, the very next day, Mr. Wiggle wanted to visit Mr. Wiggle. So he opened the door, he went outside, and he closed the door behind him. And he made the journey by going up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill, and down the hill until he made it to Mr. Wiggle's house, where he knocked on the door, but no one answered. So he called out, Oh, Mr. Wiggle, are you home? But nobody answered. <sighs> so he made the journey back and went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill, and the hill until he made it back to his own house where he opened the door, he went inside, and he closed the door behind him. Well, the next day, both Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Wiggle wanted to visit each other at the exact same time. So they both opened the door, went outside, and closed the doors behind them. And they made the journey by going up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until they met in the middle and they were so excited that they rolled down the hill and ran back up. And they rolled down the hill and went back up. And they rolled down the hill and ran back up until they were so tired. And they told each other about their days, their weeks, and everything exciting they had to share, 
until it got dark and they needed to go home. So they gave each other a great big hug and waved goodbye and made the journey back by going up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill until they made it back to their own houses where they opened the door, they went inside, and they closed the door behind them. Well, can you believe it? But the next time Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle wanted to visit each other, they used the telephone. Let's do a rhyme called Five Superheroes. Can you show me the number five? Five superheroes ready to fly. Here comes the villain, stop that guy. One superhero saves the day. Off he flies, up, up and away. Four superheroes ready to fly. Here comes the villain, stop that guy. One superhero can save the day. Off he flies, up, up, and away. Three superheroes ready to fly. Here comes the villain, stop that guy. One superhero can save the day. Off he flies, up, up, and away. Two superheroes ready to fly. Here comes the villain, stop that guy. One superhero can save the day. Off he flies, up, up, and away. One superhero ready to fly. Here comes the villain, stop that guy. This superhero can save the day. Off he flies, up, up, and away. I hope you enjoy counting with me for this week's story time with Holly. I encourage you to not only check out One as a Drummer, a book of numbers from your local library or purchase it online, but also Roseanne Thong and Grace Lynn have some other wonderful books such as Round as a Moon Cake, a book of shapes that also explore Chinese culture in a children's picture book. This story time was brought to you by Luso Community Services and made possible by United Way, Elgin Middlesex, and the City of London. Until next time, so long.